welcome back uh, friends from the last video uh, we saw two examples of adding we saw different ways of adding now uh, when it comes to subtraction adding can be easy for many of the students but when it comes to subtraction it can be really difficult for some of the students okay so I want to make this video as easy so that you can you should, need not be scared about adding I'm going to show you different ways of add yeah, sorry subtracting yeah uh, at least two okay so this is 800 minus 275 okay some of you have learned algorithm there's nothing wrong in algorithm but the problem is you don't understand what's happening to the numbers so yeah from 800 you have to take under 275 so one way of doing is okay I go 800 minus 200 okay which is very easy which is 600 then I have to this 7 stands for 70 so I have to go 600 minus 70 <coughs> so that is easy 500 minus sorry 600 minus 70 is 530 you can check your answer like this go backwards 530 plus 700 gives you 600 600 plus 200 is 800 there are different ways of checking your answer at each stage so you have taken away 200 you have taken away 70 and from this you have to take a, take away 5 so 530 minus 5 okay so you can think like this the answer is 525 so how can you check your answer 525 plus 5 is 300 now this is how you can check so this is a good way of checking always good to check your answer so if this is the right answer so what's the answer that we got okay let me so the answer is 525 so if this is the right answer this plus this should give you 800 okay I'll give you an example suppose say <coughs> excuse me okay let me make a very simple example suppose you know 10 minus 4 is 6 so how do I know this is right because 6 plus 4 is 10 so that's what I'm saying so if this is right this plus this should be 800 so I'll check like this this is 500 and 500 plus so this is also an exercise of addition plus 200 plus 70 plus 5 that should give me 800 so this is 10 this is 90 and this is 700 and this is pretty easy so the answer is 800 oh the answer is 800 okay so you can give yourself a smiley face if you have done without any help okay so this is one smiley face okay now how can we check this in a different way okay in a different this is the first strategy <coughs> I believe the number line is a very good strategy. I'll show what does what does that mean. <coughs> so I'll draw a number line. So this is my number line. So, so here you're asking the question. This is subtracting, but this strategy is called subtracting by adding. Okay, because addition is much simpler. So I'm asking the question: If 500 minus 275 is a number. 275 plus something that's what we saw 275 plus something this answer should give me 800 so what I'm going to do I'm going to go backwards so this is on the number line 275 and I'm telling okay 275 plus something should be 800 so I go okay 275 the next tidy number is 300 or you can go to 80 but yeah I think you can understand 275 plus what gives me 300 so you say well that's pretty easy that I know is 25 now what is 300 plus what gives me 500 so 800 so you should know that is 500 and here is your answer you can see the answer is 525 and that's what we got here 525 okay or 800 if you go backwards 800 minus 
525 is 275. Okay, that's also a different way. 800 minus 525 gives you. Okay, I'll t uh, show you one more strategy. So the question is 800 minus 275. Now, this strategy is called uh, subtracting by compensating. So if I want to make this 300 a tidy number, I have to add 25. So if you add 25, then you're subtracting. You have to add 25 to both the numbers. I'll explain this strategy. Suppose someone is asking you, what is, say, 17 minus 5? Okay. So you know, okay, 17 minus 5 is pretty easy. That's 12. So how can I do this in a different way? So I can, okay, if I add 3 here, yeah, to make it 20, I have to add 3 to this number. Does it make sense? So that is 20 minus 8. Okay, and 20 minus 8 we know is 12. So in subtracting, suppose, let me go back to addition. So in addition, what did I tell? If you're adding one number, suppose you're adding something to one number, you have to take away that much to the other number. But in subtraction, whatever you add to one number, to make it tidy, you do the same to the other number. So this is compensating. You're making this bigger. So if you want to get the same answer, you have to make that much bigger the other number. So this becomes 825, am I right, minus 300. That is 800, you have to look at only 800, minus 300 is 500, and you've got a 25 here. So you have checked your answer in three different ways, okay? Okay, so in the next, in the next example, I want you to pause and do that example yourself before you listen me, listen to me how I'm doing this. So you can wait, you can stop the video for five minutes and try to do this. I'll first do by the number line because I like that method because there you are again subtracting by adding. Okay, so draw, do that yourself and then listen to the video. Hopefully you have done the example and now you can listen to the video to check your answer. So this is my number line. So this is a number line. Number line has, this arrow tells me the number is going to infinity on both sides. So my question is, this question I'll change into like this. 186 plus what, or which number gives me 422? So this I'm going to do the working. That's This is my thought. I'm thinking, this is my, I'm standing here, and I'm thinking. So 186 plus what gives me 422? So I'll start with 186 here. I've got 186 here. This is not drawn to scale. And this is 422. Okay, so I'll reach the nearest tidy number, which is 190. So that you should know. Well, that's pretty easy. That should be here to go 4 to the right. That's why it's plus. And then I'll go to the next tidy number, which is 200. So that's pretty easy. That is 10. Then I'll go to 400. So this is not drawn to scale. So this is 200. And finally, you have to go 22. Okay, so don't, this is not drawn to scale. So it only read these numbers. You have to add this number. So this is 200, 22. So this is 200. Okay, let me write that. So this is 200 plus 20 plus 10 plus 4 plus 2. So what I have done is, this 22 I have written as 20 and a 2. This is 10 and this is 4. So this is 236 is the answer, 236. So you can check your answer by adding. So let us do the che checking work. So this is 2, th I'll do the checking in algorithm. So this is 236 plus 186 should give me 422. So I know 6 plus 6 is 12. So you got 1, which this 1 stands for the 10. So 10 and 2 gives you 12. So 1, 
plus 3 is 4 and 4 plus 8 is 12. So this is, you should not know what you're doing. So this is 10 plus 30 is 40 and 40 plus 8 is 120. Am I right? Oh, yeah, so 4 plus 8, am I doing something wrong? 236 plus 186. Uh, 236 is the answer. 236 plus, oh yeah, that's right. So this is 2 and so this is 422. So you can give yourself a smiley face. Okay, now how can I do this in a different way? So I'd say, well, this is 400 and, oh, I should use my pen. So this is 422 minus 186 okay so if I want to make this a tidy number what should I do okay so I want to make this 420 so you say let me take away 2 from this side you have to take away 2 from this side okay so what will happen now so this is 420 minus 184 okay so now what will happen so this is you can go like this this is 420 i'm using different strategies so this is 420 minus 100 which is 320 now 320 minus 80 okay so first 320 minus 20 okay that will give you 300 and then so I'll do that. So this is 320 minus 20, which is, I don't know this off my head. So this is 300. And then I have to take away 300 minus 60. I've broken this 80 into 60 and 20. So this is 240. And then you have to take away uh, a 4. Okay, so that is 240 minus 4 is 236. Hopefully these videos have been helpful. See you in the next video where I'm going to do multiplication and division. Thank you.